Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs and the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group. And today I want to show you how do you upload digital patterns into Design Space so that you can use them on any of your shapes when you do print and cut. So, uh, what I'm going to show you is um, first I'm logged into my Design Space account and I'm going to come over here to where it says Upload Images. Now you're only able to do this on the desktop version. You cannot do this on the uh, iOS uh, app version, okay? Um, so once you go into up upload, you have your image upload, which you normally use for your SVG files and JPEGs and PNG files and that type of thing. But what we want to do is you work with the pattern fill because what we're doing is we're uploading a digital pattern. So we're going to go upload pattern and then come over here to browse. Okay, now I purchased a bundle from Hungry JPEG and uh, I'll provide that link in this video too if you want. But any, any of the digital um, papers that you get in some of these sets, in these bundle sets, or sometimes you purchase individual uh, digital paper files, this is all going to work exactly the same way. So I, uh, this one just happens to come from Hungry JPEG, and it's in a subfolder, which is the Let's Craft, which is the bundle that I purchased this in, and then it, it actually listed these as patterns for me. So if we go in and look at patterns, it gives me a whole list of patterns. So you may be, you may download a whole, um, file set of digital papers and uh, they may come in these subfolders okay so these are just the the names of the ones that um, that came in this particular set so when you look at these you would let's see I'm going to go into fancy quarterfoils okay so here is a a PNG image of what those papers look like all right and then these are the actual um, PNG images that you would be able to upload into Design Space and use. So let's go grab one of these. So I'm going to pick the pink one, of course, since pink's my favorite color. And um, this one is quarter foil. So I want to do, I'm, I'm going to leave it with pink, but I do want to change the name of the pattern so that I would be able to find this. And I'm going to put quarter foil okay and then once you type in your pattern name and then you have themes you can pick so this one I could use this for baby I could also use it for birthdays or celebrations you can kind of Easter would be cute um, you can kind of go through and pick whatever you want out of these it might be cute for spring um, you know, so pick pick two or three of these. I miscellaneous is always a good one too. And then it asks you what style is this particular pattern because what it's doing is it's helping set up categories that you'd be able to search on. So for this one, this is a geometric pattern. I would cons consider this to be um, sophisticated. A quarter foil is usually considered sophisticated and it's geometric. So, and then it lets you pick what color recommended. So it'll put it into color segments, basically, color themes. So obviously this one's pink, so I'm going to put it in the pink one, all right? And then you'll notice that it puts like a little um, green box around the ones that you've selected. And then I'm going to come over here and hit my save button. And it will take a couple of seconds to upload, just depending. It says, please do not refresh your browser. And then it lets you know your uploaded pattern can be found over in the at layer attributes panel. So let's go find it. So I'm going to go into design space and I'm going to click insert shape. And I'm just going to pick a square. And I'll make this bigger so you guys can see it. And now I want to go into the layers attribute panel. So I've highlighted my shape. And I'm going to left click on that. And then I'm coming up here to where it says print. 
so I'm going to hit print because remember these are patterns so I don't want to print a color I want to look at my patterns so next to colors you see the word patterns when you click patterns you get all of these patterns in here now the ones that are part of the Cricut Access Library already have an A on them so you know that those are included in your subscription but down here on the bottom are some ways to filter so I know I just uploaded this um, digital paper and I want to be able to use it so what I want to do is come down here where it says filter click on filter and I can go into either my patterns or I can go into upload now I just uploaded this one so I'm going to click upload and it'll take a second and now these are all the ones that I actually have personally uploaded into um, design space and here is the one I just uploaded and when I click on it, it has now put that pattern on this particular image and I can make it smaller or bigger or whatever I can send it to my printer and I can print that out I could apply this pattern on top of any shape that I have in design space um, you know, you can even color dresses, you know, little images, anything you want to make um, that you're going to use print and cut for, you'd be able to apply those. So that is how you upload digital papers into Design Space and then how do you use them and find them. So I uh, hope you found this useful and I will put a link to Hungry JPEG uh, on this video as well because they are an awesome company that offers really cool uh, graphics and image sets and SVG files in bundles at awesome prices. So I'll, put, I'll include a link for that too and uh, let me know if you have any questions about this. I tried to make it as simple as possible. Now I'll go back in and all of those uh, digital papers that I think that I would use I will be going back and spending some time in Design Space uploading those so I have them next time I want to pick some patterns in Design Space. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. If you're not a member of Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group, please come join us over there where we have a lot of fun working with uh, Design Space and our Cricut Explore. And you can always find me at scrapmecoitdesigns.com and I hope to talk to you guys soon. Bye.